know you guys are going to ask, uh, obviously, how many take part of fall. Um, all our doctors did all the stuff. They actually cleared him, uh, but I just wasn't comfortable. I wanted Mike to go, Mike Lewis out to go watch him warm up. Um, and uh, I'm always going to err on the side of safety when it comes to my players. So I just didn't feel comfortable about it, win, lose, or draw. So uh, you got to be, be uh, that, that's your job when you're the coach. You gotta, sometimes you got to save players for themselves. That kid would run through a wall, so it's my job to, to uh, and he might have been, he's probably, you know, he says he's fine. They passed all the concussion tests and all that stuff, but uh, he fell pretty hard on his head. So sometimes that stuff takes a while. Symptoms could show up two, three hours later, so I just thought it was the right thing to do. Once in a while, I do something. Coach, it seemed like you were trying to go uh, into the paint a little bit more with Miles Johnson. You know, he yeah. was five of six. Can you talk about his game? Uh, well, he's got 12 points, 10 rebounds, and 14 deflections. So he's got a UCLA triple double. <laughs> um, what I told him was, that's who I want to see every game. So for him, being included in the offense and having things demanded of him, um, I think he's been such a nice guy his whole career. People have just kind of accepted who he used to be. Um, my message to him was coming here, you know, I don't accept that from any of my players. I came here to try to win the championship, and I come and, and I want every guy to, to become a, a better player, make the NBA, or play in Europe, or whatever, whatever they do. So uh, he's getting pushed at every turn here like he never has before. What about Tiger Campbell? Uh, you get. Same How Colorado him. went on a run, and he seemed to, you know, score. It, 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 same with him. See, I've seen that guy in practice. Now, some of their strategy was to force him into a shoot. That was their game plan. Um, I'm not telling you any secrets. I mean, it was very clear that was their game plan. And uh, I like the fact that he didn't even think twice. Because for us to become the team we could become, we get everybody healthy. Um, we get Peyton's confidence going. Um, you know, Tiger's got to be the guy that's capable of that. And if you want to have that game plan, he can get, he's just going to get 21. But he, he's, you know, another guy. Everybody, be, you know, I accepted he was a young player for two years, grooming him, give, giving me his best effort, but not anymore. I'm trying to, you know, he's got to try to be one of the best players out there. He's got to take it personally. Like what happened in the Gonzaga game, like that match, you know, it can't happen. Not for us to be who we want to be. With Miles, was it, has this been a, a continual challenging him or something like no, that? No, every day. But, you know, Rome wasn't built today. So you're just, today, you saw the culmination of a lot of hard work. You know, Darren Sabino should have been a head coach three years ago when I left Cincinnati. You know, he should have gotten that job. Now, Wes Miller is my friend, and I'm uh, doing what I can to help counsel him. And, um, I want nothing but the best for him, but uh, Darren's as good as he is. He has no business still being an assistant. He does an unbelievable job developing players. So we're seeing a, that, you know, a lot of his work with Miles paying off. Was that the continuation of the defensive effort that he started to see in the Well, in the first half. Yeah. Second half, we give up 38 points. Um, you know, now obviously, hey, they got good players. Uh, Colorado is as well coached as a team. You know, Taz can call timeout. He's going to try to adjust, adjust. He can he, he went small. He was big and went small. Obviously, um, you know, no high may. We're playing makeshift lineups, but we're getting better defensively. We're still not quite all the way there yet. I think um, part of it is Johnny and Tiger played too many minutes. Um, so I think that, and it's new for Miles playing that game, 28 for him. I think for us to be who we need to be defensively, um, we got to probably play nobody more than 30. You guys get tired, and that's 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 what happens. You see the you see what happens on the defensive end. Yeah, the second unit Yeah, I thought that was a big part of why we put we were able to put the run on. We keep trying to push the ball. We keep trying to use our bench. Um, you know, Jalen Clark did a lot of good things, and um, he does a lot of things that don't show up in the stat sheet. But, um, 
you know, it's just a process. You know, Peyton's still a young guy. The physicality gets him at times. Um, he just wants to do so well, so bad to help his team, you know. Trying to find Jake, you know, he got five minutes tonight. Trying to find him minutes is tough with Dave and Johnny. But uh, I do think that going forward, for us to be who we need to be, it's, it's hard to have to, to have guys play that many minutes and be really, really good defensively. But that's probably an excuse. I give Colorado quit credit. They had no quit in them. I thought Tad made some great adjustments. Coach, I know you've talked about what the absence of Cody does to you guys. And on the defensive end, seeing what you guys did today in the first half against a strong front court like Colorado, do you walk away with uh, any positive, seeing some growth in that aspect? Oh, yeah. Well, first of all, if you tell me if we can get out of this and get Cody back with only one loss, I'd have taken that. And if you had told me we were going to beat Colorado 12 um, and Jaime has no points and no rebounds and gets banged on the ground, I'd have taken that. <laughs> uh, but I think it makes it better. You know, if we can get out of it, it'd be awesome. Um, and I think it's obviously going to help Miles and Kenny's development. You know, Jaime not playing tonight was not good for my uh, blood pressure or heart, but it was good for Peyton. Jalen Clark, guys that get, you know, those guys that get experience. I, I think that makes you better. You know, I try to keep my eye on who we need to be in March. Coach, can you talk a little bit more about the interaction I had with Jaime? Did he know it was clear? I know he must have always played. He would talk about how tough he is, but when you told the fans, I'm going to keep you out, what was that like? Well, Did he uh, fight you on it a little? actually, uh, he said he was fine. Then I sent Mike out, Lewis, out to shoot with him and get him moving a little bit. Mike came over and said, you know him, he's, he wants to play. He was like, I don't think he looks 100%. That's all I needed to hear. So, so I told Mike, he don't look right, tell me. So I told TJ Wolf, uh, you know, decide, don't, don't put the starting lineup in until Mike gives, gives me a report on Thursday. Thanks, Coach. Well, I'm not sure if you heard about Washington's COVID situation. They, they were can't, that game against Arizona is canceled. Yeah, it's a shame. I mean, it seems to be becoming a problem. I've seen a lot of NBA guys dealing with it. Um, you know, it's, it's unfortunate. I mean, we all need to be careful. You know, everybody get their extra shot. You do everything you can. Um, as much as we all want to turn the page, I, I just got, I, it, I said it the other day. I was talking to my dad back in Cincinnati. So I got scared. As I kept seeing the NBA guys pop up, these guys that are all vaccinated. You know, it's just, it's a, it's, it's a concern. So I don't know what protocol is. You know, from the, from the Pac-12 meeting, supposedly it was gonna be a forfeit if you couldn't play. But I, I don't know if I'm right on that, to be honest with you. I'm gonna have to check, so I don't know where that's at. I know we would need to play, because we wouldn't play again until Marquette, because we got finals. So it would be a long break for us. But again, you know, when, when it comes to that stuff, you just hope all their guys are okay, their coaches. I, I, I obviously know what you just told me. Somebody mentioned the walking in. I just hope it doesn't become it. When it comes to the COVID stuff, pray everybody's okay. I hope it just doesn't become a massive problem, right, for all sports. You know, it's tough. All right, guys, I'll let you get to them.